Hi, folks. Welcome back to Pop Pop Fizzle. I'm Jeff. I'm Heidi. And we are back to watch BBC's class. We're on episode six. Six. Believe it or not, that means we are we almost done. We can't <laughs> count. We can't count. It's okay. We have three no, more we're episodes. Three, we're three quarters of the way uh, done once we finish this episode. So that is kind of crazy. This series has gone by very quickly. It has. Um, but I feel like they've been uh, not draggy. They've been really rounding out some stories, really filling out the characters. So I feel like they've actually done a really good job with it so far. Yeah, but I can see that if you were watching this series episode by episode with a week uh, between each episode, that it might feel a little slow compared to something like Doctor Who. Uh, if that's what you're used to, but I don't know. I mean, watching, you know, we've been watching episodes spaced out pretty much like that, and I yeah. haven't found it to be an issue at all. No, I feel like they've been really, um, you know, the pacing has been good. There hasn't been any parts where, where I go, where I felt like it's clunky at all, so it's it's been pretty good. Right, and I will say that, um, as always, Heidi and I tend to goof around a lot. We enjoy watching shows together, uh, but part of why we do this is because we like spending time together, so uh, we tend to comment a lot, not necessarily on the show itself, but we make little jokes and asides to each other. Um, that's not us disrespecting the show at no, all. No. That's just part of how we enjoy watching shows together. We, so yeah, we're, I, I told Jeff this week that we're like a fifth rate MST3K, like not even third, that. not even third rate. We're like fifth. Like yeah. we, we just, we and like, that's not even really what we're going for. No, it's not just really. kind of who we are. It's just um, how we watch shows. So uh, please don't take any offense at that. We are enjoying the show or we wouldn't be along on this ride. Yeah. Um, if this is the sort of content that you like, be sure and help us out by hitting that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. That helps. Share this with friends that you know that are into class. That helps as well. And um, if you want to see the full unedited um, version of these reactions, you can always find those on Patreon. Yep. Uh, just click the link. It'll be down in the description below. Um, you'll just have to sync up your own copy of the show you to watch along with us. Um, Heidi, last time we, we kind of ended some big, uh, seemingly... Yeah. And did some big plot points. Yeah. So, like, there was, like, so the fourth episode kind of ended with, like, sort of like a mid season finale. And then this fifth episode, which, like, might have been the start of that, you know, the next half, the bottom half of the season, uh, seemed to clean up quite a few things that had been set up in uh, episode four. So I was left thinking, well, there's, what else do they have to give us? So we were kind of listing it out like we still have, um, you know, the cabinet that's in play. We still have sure. um, Quill kind of being uh, wooed by the by the governors and we're trying to figure out who the governors are, kind of taking bets on whether or not we will see the Doctor again this season and just kind of trying to figure out what else do we have for these three episodes. What, like... The pacing's been great. The stories have been good. So what do they have to be packed into these three episodes that can actually, like, make it a great season? Right. And we questions like, will Charlie be tempted to use that cabinet at any point? Mm -hmm. um, will the gang be in danger now that uh, we're not manifesting any super, uh, you know, Shadowkin powers? Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, will Ram's dad be willing to let him go out with these people again, considering his life seems to always be in some sort of danger? Yeah. Um, and, and but yeah, lots of lots of interesting things happening. Yeah, and I'm wondering what happened to that uh, little girl's overprotective mom. Suddenly, she's just like not around. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, maybe she works a lot. It was a big deal. Yeah. Like she You're was. On your own. Right. Yeah, well, she was always worried. Like, what if my mom finds out? What if my mom? And like, when now we're like, Dude, I'm so glad my mom's not here. That was literally it. It's like, did she not notice that you were out, or did she get eaten by the flowers? I mean, yeah, really? Uh, I, I, I don't think they would uh, leave that for this episode, for no. her to come home and find that her mom was eaten by flowers. It'll be interesting. I don't even think they'll address people being eaten by flowers in this episode. Like, I, I suspect that we'll have moved on, and there won't be, like, on the news, you know, uh, 8,000 people dead across you know. across England being eaten by flowers. Right. No. don't think that'll happen. No. Uh, what a terrible way to go, though. Yeah. You know, I'm dying, but it smells great. It's just <laughs> I'm weird. I'm dying, but it's so pretty. Right. Um, anyway, we're going to jump into this episode, watch it, and uh, let you know what we think. But what we want you to do is jump down to the comments down below and let us know what you think of this episode. We always like hearing from you. We celebrate those comments and try to write back as much as possible. Yep. So be sure and do that. And uh, we're going to jump in right now. Yep, here we go. Here we go. Huh. Thanos is throwing moons at people again. Yeah. It's the smallest of infractions. 
Oh, wow. it's tiny. It is. Oh. Oh, but it packs a punch. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how meteors work. I mean, th their size, their impact is. Kool Aid Man comes in. Oh yeah. Exponential. Guys, what's up with the windows? Oh. Oh well. That's. That's. <laughs> <laughs> You've just crossed over into the twilight zone. Really bad. What if we're dead? Well, no, if this were happening, you guys wouldn't be here with me. <laughs> In like a mean way. Okay. That's great. So what happened? Yeah. That's interesting. Or deadly. Yeah, that too. Yeah, because nothing's tried to kill us lately. Would you get off my back? You're just like my dad. What? Don't what? talk to her like that. What are you getting pissed off for? I don't know. Is it hot in here? Why is everybody aggressive uh, on this? Yeah. Maybe right about the radiation. Anyone know the symptoms of radiation poisoning? I'm in Poland. What? Is this what Poland looks like? I'm with my father. We're visiting my doctor. It's her birthday. Ram, is this what Poland looks like? Only last year. <laughs> she takes me aside and she says, Wait, is it what Poland looks like? Truth. Put it down. I'm afraid of you. What? It's the truth. Of what you're capable of? Of what you will do? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. It, oh, so it can't leave. It can't leave either. I'm not sure that had to be said. That's what I mean. I couldn't stop. I wanted to, but but there it was being said. But it's only part of the truth. The the, the sm smallest part, the angriest part, the most fearful part. You know? No, I, I understand. Totally. It's like suddenly I realized that tact was just not saying true stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's an asteroid of truth. Meteor of truth. That's what Truthiness. I said. Truthiness. Right, heard you, Ram. <laughs> Oh, well. Sonic leg. Does it hurt? The alien leg, when you do something like that? Yes, it hurts when I do something like that. It does everything a normal leg does. <laughs> I was just asking. I know, I know. Besides the being trapped thing, I just feel weirdly angry. What are you working out? Me too. Mm hmm. And him! <laughs> Everybody's mad at Chuck. Yeah. Smart not touching it, though. Yeah. Okay. Who knows Let's what she'd say? Stones don't make you tell the truth. I didn't do that on purpose. Well, I believe you. Let's spin it like a bottle and see what happens. So, that means... It means it's not a stone. It's not just a stone. If it spoke to or through Mateus, maybe it could tell us something. So? What are you kidding? I just couldn't wait. I didn't yell that. Because it's far more telling you what the real truth is. No! Huh. Not yet. I'm doing this for a reason. Ask me a question. Is the rock dangerous? Yes. Yes, it's dangerous. If you hold it too long, it fries your brain. Our chemistry can't handle it. Then let it go. Not yet. Ask me again. Make me tell you the truth. What is it? Is it alien? Uh, it's a kind of intelligence. Told you it was alien. I, but not quite. It's something incorporated on the asteroid. A prisoner! <laughs> I can't do it again. The brain fry, remember? Yeah. I'm pretty clear on the brain fry, and that's why I got this look on my face. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to think about picking it up again. Not me. One of you. Oh. Okay. So the TARDIS landed in the TARDIS. Something like that. They're in the prison. How do we know it just doesn't want to use us? Oh, it wants that too. 
thought it's, it's probing us. Uh, but that's a two-way street. So the prince should use it. He's not human. Just need to ask it more. Ask right. it the right one. No, it's too dangerous. So is starving to death. I'm being trapped in a room. <laughs> the way I see it is, we have three more chances to find out something we can use. I felt like it learned something from me, but it knows me imitation and would kill us before we got anything else out of it. Are we even on Earth anymore? Does that mean she suddenly lives in a world where I no longer need to be protected? Meaning? Meaning she won't exactly be motivated to save us, will she? Oh, why would she? She's no longer your slave. Fine. I'll do that. Who are you? Run. Jesus, boy. What are you seeing? A back garden? Truth. I love you. Oh. More than you love me. Oh. Oh. Maybe you'll ever be able to love me. Awkward. Well, I didn't expect that. Who's in there? Oh no. Brain fry. Every rock has the consciousness of a prisoner bound to it. And one got knocked into ours. He. I think it's a he. Yeah, um, it felt like a he to me. A being. He took lives over and over and okay. over again. That's all he's got left after so long. His, his confession. But what does he gain from it? Why did he try to kill you? I felt like it had something to do with the strength of my confession. What are you thinking? I'm wondering what we can give him. Give him. We have to decide who's going to die so we know who to eat. Mm -hmm. One. Things together, we save things together. We can do it again. Yeah, you're right, Charlie. I think we may be getting the prisoners' anger too. But will they like her enough to knock it out of her hand? Yeah. Oh my god. I didn't have a clue. It's him. It's the voice I heard in my head. I didn't hear a voice. Me neither. It's getting stronger. Don't. I don't love you as much as you know. I don't trust how fast you've fallen, and I don't trust that. It We've been taken out of time. So... We won't age, we won't need to eat, but we'll be here forever. The closest friend I had before coming to this planet was the man who wrote my speeches. You gave speeches? Since I was seven. Did I ever fight with friends? No, I didn't. And I, I don't know how to do it, and I don't know how to make my heart stop feeling like this, and I don't know how to stop the true feeling that you've all just been putting up with my stupidity and difference this whole time. So Does that mean we can be friends again? And we never stop being friends, you airbag! <laughs> in a friendly way. What? You didn't even say those things to me and I don't get hurt. That's the last thing that I, I wanted. You both confess the truth. Mine was that I loved you. Yours was that you didn't. We've all heard things we didn't want to hear. And said things we didn't want to say. I want to murder the Shadow King. Every last one. I want to use the Cabinet of Souls to wipe them from the face of existence. But, Charlie... I would lose you. Lose myself. What have you got to tell us? You what? You what? Oh, eye bleeding's not good. Oh, not. I mean, I saw a trailer for Twilight one time that kind of had my. That okay. is it for class episode six of okay. series one.
I feel like we were, we were extra Sox. quiet during this because there was like so much being unpacked by every one of our characters. Um, there was just, okay, we wondered what else could they do with three episodes. This was a grand episode. There was a lot going on. Right. Um, a lot of emotional baggage to sort through there for them and the repercussions for that, I'm guessing we will continue to see throughout the next couple of episodes. Yeah, but it's kind of, you know, even if it is sort of formulaic, you know, like you get the heroes to fight with each other and sure. like go separate ways. It's It makes for at least some interesting character like interactions and developments that we'll probably kind of see some resolutions for over the next couple of episodes. So I am, I am still excited to see what i'm still baffled as to what else they're going to do but we kind of called it that you know quill's going to have to make that choice whether or not to be on the side of the people she's been hanging around with or not right. so we're going to see that i'm sure in the next couple episodes and, too you know tropes are tropes for a reason so even though shows will have an episode like this where people are put into a situation where either they're possessed by something uh and their true feelings come out or they're you know put into a situation where they have to fight each other and you know, baggage comes out or whatever different shows have had. You know, there's the the uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode where she and Angel are both possessed and right. working through their own trauma in the course of And then, and then there's that. the Yoko factor <clears throat> in that as well. Right. So, so there's all kinds of things where, you know, characters have to deal with stuff that they've been carrying around for a while, and they end up better for it usually in the end. Um, we have yet to see kind of the ramifications of all of this, but definitely interesting to see. I thought maybe the the uh, prince was going to be imprisoned there at the end, and that was going to lead us into whatever the next plot was. Yeah, uh, yeah. D this definitely kept me guessing, questioning what was going to happen next, who, what we were going to hear from each yeah. of each of our characters in this. Um, interesting and awkward between Ram and April, of course. Um, interesting and sort of awkward between. Uh, the prince and his boyfriend as well. Right. Um, and then, of course, the little girl that's trailing them around who hates being the little girl that's trailing them around. So lots of lots of really good feelings coming out there. Yeah, and, you know, Mateus ends up being, for me at least, through a lot of these episodes, I think he was absent from the second episode. But in all the episodes he's been in, he's kind of the most... Um, as far as common sense go, the, the one most closely attached to the way I would think about things. Like he, he asks the right, he tends to ask the right questions. Well, he tends to notice things that other people don't notice. And I think that's interesting because he's really the only one of them that hasn't had a close brush with the weird. You yeah. know, they've all had more intimate connections to the weird. He's kind of not had that, and yet he's the one who... Other than dating an alien prince. Right, but, but I mean, he's he's kind of a glue for their little group. You yeah. know, he, he tends to like and be liked by everyone there. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And I, I've said it before. He's kind of like our, our eyes and ears, our mouth, like, you know, what's happening, asking the questions saying, okay, well let's fill, fill, fill in the rest of us right. who are just kind of watching along and seeing what's happening. And he's, he's been that character for us. So yeah. I, yeah. and you know, a lot of good stories need one of those as well. So this has been, he's been a good addition to the group, I think. I think so too. Now we've got two episodes left. We're excited to check those out and we will be back with those episodes soon. Uh, for now though, we want to hear what you thought about this episode. You can let us know down in the comments below. And if you like content like this, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. That helps too. You'll be notified. Uh, if you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified whenever we drop new content. Uh, and it really helps the channel out. We're a tiny channel. We don't do this for, uh, you know, this isn't our day job or anything like that. We're just doing this because we enjoy watching shows together and having fun together and we're inviting you to the party. That's really all that is. Yep. So um, we appreciate every single one of you that jumps on board. Yeah. Um, any other thoughts before we go? Um, I am really looking forward to seeing these last two episodes. So I'm, uh, I am too. I think this show hooked me more than I thought it would. Yeah. I mean, 
It's not an instant in for me. I think it, it took like an <laughs> episode of Doctor Who before I was really in. Mm-hmm. Um, this show isn't quite that much of a hook for me, but I'm six episodes in and I, I, I'm like, yeah, I want to watch the next episode now, you know? So yeah. I think that's good. I, I hate that this is the only season that we have to watch. Of course, as we started this, we did see rumors that they were thinking about doing another series. There's so always rumors. There's always rumors. but And maybe. sometimes they're just that. But, um, but yeah, we're definitely into watching the next two episodes and we'll be back with those soon until next time folks bye bye